Clark, I'm curious about this. Like, what do you, you know, you mentioned the food you eat and stuff, but what do your habits look like maybe around your sleep when you wake up? Just what do your daily habits look like that have allowed you to stay co- so consistent and end up where you are now? I go to bed at eight o'clock every night. Every night. Every night. My wife gets mad. You going to bed now? And I'm like, yes. What, what are we doing after eight o'clock? Well, we watch TV. And I'm like, I don't want to watch. I want to go to sleep. I'm in, I'm in bed by eight. I'm sleeping by eight o'clock. Six. You're like you're gonna give me a reason to stay up, or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd still be sleeping by eight oh six, snoring out cold. <laughs> so then I'll wake up between four thirty five o'clock, and mm-hmm. I get in a cold plunge. Not all the time, but I get in a cold plunge. I got in there this morning because I knew we were going to talk about it today. I'm like, I can't not get in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I'll then I'll get in the hot. And I'll do some red light therapy. And uh, I don't typically do any work until 7. I, I like to set my phone on do not disturb from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then I'll do some morning stuff, you know, some meditation while I'm in the hot tub. And then I start my day after that. I'll go to the gym or I'll train some clients. I have a nice gym at the house. We saw the, the video of that. I'll have three or four clients that I'll train on random days, Tuesday, Thursday, whatever. And then if I'm not doing that, I'll go to the gym, get a workout. Typically my workouts last about 20 minutes. Then I'll do 30 minutes to an hour of cardio on Mm -hmm. the Stairmaster. Then I come home, do my work. I might have a coaching client to talk to, talk to my team, whatever. Have you ever not done cardio, by the way? Like, did you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll stop from time to time. But now I know that I need to when I look at my body and I know the things I want to do, I want to do a couple photo shoots coming up here. So cardio is necessary for me yeah. to do that. But then, you know, that's my day. I, uh, random stuff. You know, I'm starting my podcast now. So there's just different things throughout the day because I have different deals still. Like I got a real good deal that just came up. I'm partnering with Russell Brunson. He's got a new, you know, from ClickFunnels. He's got a new supplement line that he came mm. out with and i'm gonna be the face of so that's a huge opportunity there and i work with kelly dunn you know kelly dunn your brother mm-hmm. did the yep, yeah yeah i think he made some of your stuff out there i can mm-hmm. tell by one of the the little tincture bottle yep i could tell by touching it <laughs> that he made it it's a very similar feel on that thing so yeah i work with him I work with a company called rebalance so between those different companies that i work with i'll do videos or some content for them Mm -hmm. and I'll go to the football field and throw the ball around or whatever. Yeah. That's it. So, I mean, your, your habits have been super consistent and this makes me kind of curious because like I remember seeing a video, one of the first videos I saw was Merrick shared a video of like you talking about your testosterone, right? Mm-hmm. And you have still have high test mm-hmm. and you mentioned you didn't do any HRT and nope. I think it was like a year ago or something, right? Um, but obviously you've had solid habits for forever but what makes you being 59 right a lot of guys are like oh i'm over the hill maybe i should get some hrt to optimize myself what makes you not do that because i don't need not to want yet. to not need to yet i don't need to yet is there ever a time you think you would absolutely i'm pro hrt tot as jay campbell calls it mm-hmm. when it's needed but here's my issue and here's the problem that i have is Power Project family, your normal shoes are making you weak. This is why I partner with Vivo Barefoot Shoes, because they have a wide toe box, they're flat, and they're flexible. So with every single step you're taking, if you're taking a 10-minute walk outside, or when you're working out in the gym, your feet are able to do what they're supposed to do in this shoe. They have tons of options for hiking, running, training in the gym, chilling and relaxing, casual shoes for if you're out on a date. You need to check them out. And Andrew, how can they get it? Yes, that's over at vivobarefoot.com slash power project. And you guys will receive 15% off your order automatically. Again, vivobarefoot.com slash power project. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Too many men hear their buddy say, oh yeah, I got on this and I 20 pounds just dropped off and I feel great. See, that's their experience. That's not going to be your experience. Mm-hmm. And if until you adopt lifestyle principles that will aid in that, you know, people think that TRT is some sort of magic pill. It isn't. Here's what I'm thinking should happen. You know, when you go to a uh, bariatric physician to do mm-hmm. the thing, they say, oh, no, you got to lose 50 pounds before we do this surgery. You're not healthy enough. You're not healthy enough. 
I think every man, like I just thought of this on the way up here because I knew we were going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Every man who's overweight that is expecting for TRT to help him lose weight should be required by their physician to lose 30 pounds first, 20 pounds first. Come back to me after you lose 30 pounds. Mm. Then we'll put you on. Lose 10% of your body weight. Yes. Get it off because they think that's the problem is they think that's going to knock it off without changing their lifestyle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not and, only will it not help you lose weight, it's probably pretty likely if you don't have good habits that you're going to gain weight. Yes. It, it, if you it, increase your testosterone, you're probably just going to be more bloaty looking than, <laughs> <laughs> than anything else. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pro TRT and I will do it when I go to my physician and they say, okay, and it's not even what they tell me my levels are. It's how I feel. Yeah. Like if I don't wake up in the morning with the boner, if I don't wake up in the morning with a zeal and excitement for life, if I don't feel like I'm like, whoa, man, she looked good or whatever, you know, like just being a man, that's part of what we are. And that's the testosterone in us. Mm -hmm. The minute that starts to decline, I'm going to go find out what's going on. And then I'm going to take actions that are appropriate. It's a tough thing though. Cause many men haven't felt that in years. Yeah. And that's their normal already. Mm. Yeah. Well, and again, if they haven't yet changed their lifestyle, if they're mm -hmm. not eating right, if they're not exercising consistently, then they have no business in my opinion doing anything. And I, I've had doctors argue with me before say, Clark, we've helped so many men and they don't exercise and they don't eat right. And I'm like, you are an idiot. If you allow one of your patients to not exercise and eat right, and you're giving them an exogenous form of a hormone, I think you're in malpractice, in my opinion. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it, all right? Share this with a friend, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us, all right? Peace.